Five straight playoff victories had gotten the Southridge boys basketball team to the brink of the state title game. However, to punch their ticket to Indianapolis, the Raiders would have to get past Park Heritage winners of 11 in a row. To the fabled Hatchet House where the Raiders had to put their heads together to figure out how to beat a team that had only lost three times all season. Park Heritage would try to power over Southridge early with their big man Connor Davis, who was devastating inside the opening stanza. But the Raiders turned to their big man Colson Montgomery, and he was lethal from beyond the arc, keeping the game tight at the end of the first quarter. The Wolves respond in the second quarter, getting creative with the pass and Christian Johnson with the extended alley-oop off the glass. But just before halftime, Colson Montgomery leads a rally, defying the Park Heritage defense on the daring drive for two. Southridge goes into halftime down just four. The second half would see Park Heritage once again try to pull away. Christian Johnson stops, pops, and drops the trifecta. And the Raiders are down nine in the third, but Southridge won't back down. Once again, Colson Montgomery wills the Raiders back with a runner in the lane off the glass. Next, Camden Gasser slots it to Carter Whitehead, who cashes in, getting the Raiders back within shouting distance down 28-23 after three. And the comeback continues in the fourth. Great defense sets up the turnover and the fast break the other way. Montgomery is simply a one-man gang. As the amazing crossover leads to the game-tying two-hand slam, it's 34 all. He would finish with a game-high 25. But late in the game, an uncalled clear-out sets up the Wolves' Riley Ferguson for the eventual game-winning three as Southridge's sweet season comes to a bittersweet end, falling 40-36. to that's part of the game. Sometimes you don't win, but I mean, I just gave it everything I had, and I know everybody else did. I love these guys to death, you know, so I always remember these guys. Even losing this game, you'll still remember the, the atmosphere and everybody who came out and supported us. Both teams, I thought, kind of settled in correctly um, in terms of how we wanted to both play. That thing was just a slugfest. Great players making big-time plays back and forth, and I was really proud of our guys for the way that they competed from start to finish.